and roll today? <laughs> I'm so happy to be back. I had kind of a rough week, but I'm doing a lot better now. And I am very, very happy to be back in action. Um, I think we're gonna do Tatara's Grand Endeavor today because I um, didn't do it the last couple weeks and I'm a uh, <laughs> little behind on that, so I should do it. I guess we should also uh, unlock the Leafman quest. I um, didn't do that and I should have because now that I see the map reward, I'm like, oh my god, I want to ride around on a Leafman. So we're gonna do that for the Mount Reward. <laughs> That's uh, kind of kind of what's gonna happen there. But yeah, let's get to started on the Tataru's Grand Endeavor, and then I think I'm just gonna pal around, do some party finder stuff, play around with the new glam, etc., etc. Because I I'm definitely behind on getting this new glam, and. <laughs> hey Nero! Oh my god, I'm so happy to be back. Thank you for keeping me company this week. I greatly enjoyed hanging out with you. You're one of my best friends. It's been so good getting the game with you. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I, I'm getting... That's Bakugo, right? And uh, it's the Four Lords thing. Medjina has an urgent request to make of you. Aw, thank you. Anytime to you as well. Oh my god, this is uh, one of the dog sweaters I finished while gaming with you. It's kind of got like a roll up here. But yeah, I did this. This, 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 uh, this is one of them. Actually, I finished a lot of dog sweaters. <laughs> this is the other one I finished. It's a little bit bigger kind of like blue and gray. I think I'm gonna donate these to the Oakland Animal Shelter. And then I also got these these little ones done. These ones are kind of easy to get done. I got this little like pink and black one done. Um, and then I got this tiny, tiny little like blue and yellow one done. It kind of reminds me of those like Cadbury Easter eggs. Um, so yeah, just a couple sweaters. <laughs> I'm making progress, and then I, um, this is gonna be the, the back part of my most recent one, which is another kind of, like, big dog one, and then this is gonna be the, like, the chest part, which I'm kind of working on now. <laughs> ah, Raza, you couldn't have come at a better time. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have a moment to talk when Glam's on the line. My thanks. You see, a foreign merchant approached the boutique with a proposal not long ago. Hancock, of the East Aldernod Trading Company? Perhaps you've heard of him? I am very familiar with Hancock. What the fuck is he doing here? You shouldn't be here. Ah, so you have a history. No wonder Mistress Sataru declared him unscrupulous and deserving of infinite caution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Though there is a risk in dealing with a man of such flexible principles, his knowledge of the Higan markets would do much to bolster our efforts and make inroads in the Far East. That is why, despite her misgivings, Mr. Sitaru seeks to negotiate a partnership, but for some reason or another, he has requested you be present at their meeting in Kugane. I, I, uh, yeah, mm. <laughs> I realize business negotiations are not your forte, but we would be most grateful if you'd indulge his request. Of course, there's also the matter of our secret mission. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, we're gonna get Tataru her uh, necklace back. Once it has been fully restored, this gorgeous sapphire will serve as the centerpiece of Mistress Tataru's necklace. I hope that one day she may look upon it as a memento of not only her mother, but of her many dear friends and allies. That is very sweet. Perhaps during your visit to Kugane, fortune shall favor us with the discovery of an additional treasure to grace her keepsake. Probably. I'm guessing we're going to get that, like, glam or whatever. In any case, I believe that covers everything. Mr. Tataru shall meet you at the Ruby Bazaar in Kugane. I wish you a safe journey. 
Uh, yeah, I'm probably just gonna teleport there. Our FC house is there now. Oh my god, I need to show you guys the new FC house. I got us an FC house. I got my FC house in, uh, Kigane, which serves as my FC house. Um, sorry, I thought my dog might be trying to get in, but I don't think he is. Um, which basically serves as my house because I, I don't actually want to play the lottery for a personal house, so I do it for the FC house, and that's kind of it. But I need to show you guys this. I decorated it myself. Ambrose might have made some adjustments. That's fine. Ambrose can do that. He is much more qualified to do that than I am. Um, he's actually going to start streaming soon, so y'all should check him out. Um, let me go to my FC house. I can show you. I'm very excited about it. I have been trying to get an FC house in Kigane for literal months. <laughs> and with the new lottery things that open, I finally managed to. It's still small, but I was like, I'm not taking my chances. I'm just gonna get my foot in the door and that's it, you know? I'd rather, you know, it like we're not a large FC, so it can be small. But I decorated it myself. Doesn't it look amazing? We even have a hot tub. I mean, we're also right near the private beach, too, but, yeah. Alright, here, I'll show you the inside. I'm so happy with it. I've been, like, saving up, like, furniture items for ages just to be able to do this. It's, like, been on my list for literal ages. Got all our maid servants, got the two Namazu. Got a bunch of snacks, cause of course. I tried to put a lot of windows, it's nighttime, so it's not really evident. But all these windows shine light in through the day. Oh my god, we got a bot! We got a bot! We got a bot! Must be doing something right if we got a bot right off the bat. Uh, let me just report. Yep. We got a bot. Oh my god, we got the sad music. It's on a it's on a shuffle play. But yes, I decorated all of our house. We got a little like fountain, triple triad board. Just got some shells, a little ether wheel, some plants, unending journey. I went and bought all these rugs to kind of max out our floor. And we got a spot shelf! We made a nice little library. Doesn't it look amazing? We got some like fish tanks, but fishing. Shiny things, cause deep down we're all raccoons and we just want shiny things in our lives. Um, I'm so happy with how it turned out. So All right, and then, oh, we're also right next to this little hidden path. So literally, it's almost like we have our own private beach because we can just walk down here and there's a beach for us and there's a hot spring. And I'm so happy I managed to score this plot. Even though it's a small, I'm so happy I managed to score this plot because Location, location, location. See, there's like a little hot spring in this area. We managed to luck out majorly in this area. And like, we're near enough to an after I plaza and a market board. Yeah. It's pretty good. I'm, I'm very happy about it. 
I am very, very happy about scoring my FC this house. <laughs> I was so nervous that it wasn't going to happen. Oh, hi, Maple! Pupter has decided to grace us with her presence. She's probably just gonna go snooze on my bed. Take me to Kigane. What, why are you just standing in the doorway? Make up, are you going in or are you staying out? In or out, Maple? What are you doing? <laughs> she can't decide. <laughs> All right, where is, oh yeah, this is just gonna be at the markets. Kugane is one of the prettiest cities, honestly. The most, like, music-wise, everything. It's one of the most prettiest cities. They really went all out. I think they knew that people were gonna lose their shit for this one. <laughs> actually okay we're not I thought we might be going all the way up to where maybe we are I didn't think about it oh no we're just going here okay I thought we were gonna have to gonna go back all the way up to the East Aldernaut Training Company but if we don't I will be great very grateful about that Reflecting. Nice starry sky with a garland ship in the background. When are they gonna give us that as a mount, honestly? Oh, there they are. I think Dataru can handle Hancock. Wouldn't be surprised if she slept with him, just fucked him to get his money. I mean, that's how she got all the people at, uh, in uh, Heaven's Ward, so. Raza, I'm so glad you can make it. I am equally thrilled by your arrival, though I suspect I must apologize for the sudden invitation. Oh, no, my dogs decide to play in the hallway. They're playing the hallway game. The hallway game is where one of the dogs stands in the middle of the hallway and the other dog tries to get past them and then they play a game of chicken to see who will go past. <laughs> it's all in good fun, but uh, yes, that is technically the hallway game because our hallway is not very big. Well, I heard there was glam on the line, and I came as soon as I could. <laughs> yes, you should, but more importantly, I'd like to know what scheme is the, is and what the scheme is and how you intend to involve us. Tataru would know. Oh my, so quick to assume the worst. Tataru's just smart like that. Well, I would love nothing more than to lay bare all my dirty little secrets. It would be prudent to discuss my proposal first. Loath though I am to admit it, a, a draper shop but recently launched by the company has not been well received by the locals. Our intention was to promote the sale of imported apparel woven by the Uldalan Weavers Guild. Alas, it seems Western fashion holds a little appeal for the citizens of Kigane. So, we rethought our strategy. We would produce Higgin Couture, but with the world-renowned Old Dawn silks. Kimono, as they are, are, are the favorite choice of wear in the Far East. Okay. Or rather, that was our plan until our seamstress fell ill. It was as I faced the unpleasant decision of abandoning this venture entirely that I chanced to hear of Tataru's boutique and the assorted Far Eastern-styled equipment they had to offer. Mm-hmm. 
sure. You are referring to our samurai and ninja inspired sets of armor, yes? Indeed, by putting your exemplary goods on display, the, the Eastern the East Aldenon Trading Company would demonstrate that we, a Western trader, are capable of making garments suited to the needs of our local patrons. Um. Yeah, but uh, Tataru wants to get paid, so the deal's got to be a bit more thorough than that, Hancock. Also, I am not entirely sure that your seamster fell ill. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I have been informed that you wish to establish a foothold in Hingashi and East Author. Yeah. What better way to make your Kugane debut than to have us showcase your quality wares? Yeah, but I, I, I don't think she wants to have your company sell her stuff. I think she wants to sell her stuff on her own and not have your name attached to it in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> Which is a smart decision, honestly, and Tataru is smart. Unless she's gonna pull a Rowena. Honestly, I think the next expansion is just gonna have Tataru and Rowena go to war. None of us are gonna live. None of us are gonna survive Tataru and Rowena going to war. But it's gonna happen eventually. It's not without its appeal, I admit. The perfect venue to gauge interest in your, in our goods. Isn't it just? If I may make your, if I may take your grudging concession as a sign of interest, perhaps we can discuss the finer proposed, the finer points of my proposal of partnership. Yeah, um, you're not gonna get out of that one alive, Hancock. Oh, we'll be discussing it at length, but I've yet to see how any of this would require Roz's involvement. Indeed, I was just about to get to that part. Oh my god, pupters. Oh my god, my dogs play like elephant seals. They just kind of mush their mouths up against each other. What are you two doing? <laughs> Did I catch you? Did I catch you two? Did I catch you two? Hi! Did I catch you two? <laughs> Hello. I know I caught you. Hi. You're doing good, I know. You are. You're a good bear cub. Not long ago, I crossed paths with a certain group of someones who were eager to call on Raza again. This is gonna be the Four Lords. And I found myself quite taken with them charming as they were, that I felt compelled to facilitate this reunion. And of course, one can never collect too many favors. Ah, Hancock, you slimy little bastard. Alas, I know that you are predisposed to question the motives behind any invitation from the East Aldernaut Trading Company. And with good cause, I can see. So instead, I invite you here under the guise of assisting Tatari with the related affair. Uh-huh. I hope you will forgive the deception. Rest assured that you shall be rewarded for your aid in this matter with your choice of recompense. I did not say that word correctly, but I said it with confidence, and that's what matters. <laughs> hey, Alflin! How are you? How's life on your end? I am... I, yes, I am back. Uh, it was a kind of a dicey week. It was a very depressing dicey week, but thankfully, uh, Nero kept me company, and uh, that was very nice of him, and I enjoyed spending time with him, and we, we kind of went on an MMO, uh, MMO binge last week. <laughs> Just, like, going way too far into Star Wars The Old Republic and Guild Wars 2, but, you know, it was worth it. It was fun. Still gotta, still gotta conquer all of, uh, the, M the, uh, Space and uh, Tyria with them, but yeah, it was fun. How are you doing, Alflin? How's life on your end? 
Just before your arrival, I took the liberty of informing my new acquaintances that you would soon be making landfall on these shores. They ask you to meet them at the Suzuki in the Rubin Sea as soon as you are able. Yeah, it's gonna be the Four Lords. I'm excited to see the Four Lords again. That's honestly, if you have not done the Four Lords and Storm and post Stormblood, go back, do the Four Lords, okay? The Four Lords is fucking amazing. Go do the Four Lords. <laughs> um, but yeah. It's gonna be the Four Lords. I believe it is some matter of urgency, so if you could travel there forthwith, fine. I'll leave you to have Tataru grill you. I'm pretty sure- I'm pretty sure Tataru is like Hancock's dom on the side. <laughs> I just- Hancock's like a sl sl slimy little- mm. But Tataru can play him. Honestly, we are not gonna survive Tataru and Rowena's wars. They're gonna go to war and we're all gonna be dead. Excellent. I leave them in your capable hands. Don't worry. I'm no stranger to Hancock's tricks. I'll make sure not to agree to anything until we've settled every last detail. Just do what you need to do and return when you can. Uh, yeah. Tataru's gonna end up owning your business, Hancock. issues with your PC. I still am not operating with the second monitor. Um, yeah, I'm kind of waiting till I get a job to kind of work on building my PC up a little bit. Um, I've been just making just some dog sweaters. I got a lot of work done on my dog sweaters. Um, I'm kind of working on the, the bottom part of uh, another one. Like, this is going to be the top and the bottom and Eventually, it's gonna kind of look, um, it's gonna kind of look like this one. It's gonna be big like this one. I might do, um, a little bit more on the neck piece, though, like this one, so I can kind of loop it over. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, more like pro knitter. I'm not doing anything super complicated, so... Oh my god, I got, um, I got us an FC house in Kugane, so when you eventually come over to, uh, Final Fantasy, you gotta check out the FC house, I decorated it myself. I'm so, I'm so happy with it. I've been trying to get, I've been trying to get an FC house in Kugane for months, because Kugane is one of the, um, Kugane is one of the, like, top priority places people want houses. But I finally managed to get one in an amazing location, and I am so happy with it. Um, yeah, so I'm knitting dog sweaters right now. I think I'm gonna donate them to the Oakland Animal Shelter. Um, that's where we got Maple from, uh, and we've gotten some other animals from there too, and they do really good work over there. Um, and so I think I'm gonna donate them over there. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. It's my little jellyfish. <laughs> oh my god, I need to unlock the Leafman quest because apparently if you do all the required deliveries for that, you get a Leafman mount and I want to, uh, I want to ride the Leafman mount and it has like leaves behind you. Uh, yeah, I want to ride the Leafman mount and you get a Leafman headdress, which I don't think I'm ever going to wear, but it's so ridiculous. I at least need to have it in my itinerary just because it's so dumb. Um... <laughs> Yeah, Four Lords! Oh, I'm happy to see the Four Lords again. I liked them a lot. It's such a fun quest line. Again, everyone go do the Four Lords quest line and post Stormblood. It's amazing. Apologies, Raza. I pray you have not been waiting long. Also, if you unlock the, uh, like, Ninja Turtle, like, um, like, uh, what we all call them Ninja Turtles. They're not technically called Ninja Turtles. But if you unlock them and you do all their tribe quests, you get a Man Ray Mount, which is amazing. So, another reason to do that, but, uh, Four Lords quest line. You look surprised, did Hancock not tell you we, who requested your aid? Ah, uh, but never mind that. I am simply glad that you are here safe, that you are here. You can actually get a glam that makes you look like one of these guys, it's pretty great. How have you been? Well, my training as the next Genbu can continues apace. I must tell you, my friend, each day has been more trying than the last. 
Yeah, I'm sure that that the Yoda turtle is not a uh, <laughs> not been easy on you. Well, I just the other day the auspicious placed 99 wasabi filled uh, takoyaki on a platter before me and instructed me to divine which single ball out of the entire batch was not filled with that dreadful spice. Yeah, I'm also not a big fan of spicy food. But I have sensory processing disorder, so like everything is like my brain doesn't process pain correctly. Uh, well, my, well, my brain doesn't. My brain doesn't process sensory input correctly. Um, so spicy food is a little different for me. Training to sharpen my foresight, they claimed, but it felt more akin to torture. By the end, I was reduced to a dithering sea turtle swimming in a puddle of my own tears. <laughs> oh, poor, poor Sorba. <laughs> okay. Uh, the, the primal, uh, the auspices are not being, uh, they're not being very, very, uh, gentle with you, are they? That is, uh, that is all to say, I am only marginally closer to assuming my place as one of the four lords. Hopefully you'll be there soon! Ah! Get to the point already, Sarbon! Kinmu! Yeah! I was just about to arrive to it! <laughs> oh, I forgot about that, yeah. Um, come my friends, show yourselves. Hey, it's the four lords! Not in their, their like, fight thing. I like bitter food. I like bitter food a lot. It has been some time, Raza. Hey, Bakugo. When are we gonna get you as a mount? I am relieved to see you in good health. I understand you have been through a great deal. Your concern is unwarranted. This is the woman who quelled our Atrima and inherited Tenzin's legacy. There is no trial she can't overcome. You misunderstand me, my brother. That or you deliberately insinuate that I lack faith in Raza's capabilities. Enough! We indebted ourselves to the merchant to obtain this meeting. Let us not distract ourselves with this nonsense and get to the heart of the matter. Sounds good, Bakugo. I knew you'd bring down the hammer. Very well. Though you may not know this, but Senri's craving for Dango often brings her to Kugane. It was during such a visit that she spied a suspicious individual on Kogedorani. A man who not only wore the remnants identical to Tenzin's, but who also claimed to be his long-lost descendant. I mean, I don't know. I think I just developed a resistance to it because I, I, I would eat, like, uh, old baking chocolate growing up. This descendant was selling good luck charms, utterly devoid of benediction. His ploy is plain. He uses Tenzin's name to trick fools into buying his rubbish. Any who would dare sully Tenzin's name shall face my wrath. My flames will cleanse him of his sins and burn his soul to ash. Too merciful a punishment, I say. I shall personally render unto him every pain imaginable. By the Kami, it is possible they have both succumbed to the Archima once more? I don't think so. I think this time it's pretty justified. Ahem. The charlatan boasts more than just esteemed heritage. He also claims to have the four lords at his beck and call. Insinuating, yes, but I would still rather resolve this without the flames and torture. But having lived apart from men for so long, I fear we may be ill-equipped to do so on our own. Hence why we have turned to you for your assistance. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I don't really eat much of it anymore, but uh, I still like dark chocolate quite a bit. You needn't agree to anything just yet, but why don't we all at least seek out this descendant and take his measure ourselves? I beg your pardon, putting myself aside, the three of you approaching any settlement, let alone one as large as Kigane, would surely cause an uproar. That, that is quite true, Sorobon. Huh? 
calm yourself, Sorbon. You must forget we are four lords. It is a trifling matter to assume a less conspicuous guise. Yeah, they're auspicious. Let us turn into little cute minions, like the gods. Let us reconvene in Kugane. Sorban is to go first, while we, sh while we three shall make our own approach separately to avoid attracting undue attention, just in case. Yeah, part of the reason I didn't eat a lot of unsweetened chocolate was like we routinely didn't have a lot of food at home and we only used unsweetened chocolate for, um... Oh my god, they turned into- they're, they're wearing the, the Hatch and Tide costumes! <laughs> I thought they were gonna turn into their minions! No, they literally turned into the Hatch and Tide costumes! <laughs> this is amazing! I thought they were gonna turn into their minions, you know, the firebird, the snake, the the, the Bakugo cub. No, they just literally, they were like, let's put on hatching tide cups. <laughs> this is everything. I mean, I have each of these costumes, but like, god damn. That's amazing. Okay, I, yeah. It would seem we have managed to arrive with little fuss. But only the Kami know how long our presence will remain a secret. Again, with the needless worrying, our disguises are perfect. None may suspect you are the four lords at first glance, but you are suspicious in the extreme. <laughs> we could have used our power to assume the form of men, but those with keen sight would still be able to discern our true nature. The costumes were an innocuous alter alternative. There's nothing in in innocuous about them! <laughs> Senri said she found the swindler on Kugane Dori, yes? Let us head there at once. Alright, I'm gonna close the door now that Maple's in here. I think it even... Well, okay, I'll wait for this cutscene to be over. Gather round, friends! Gather round! As you have no doubt surmised by my crimson armor, I am the proud descendant of Tenzin, the famous hero of Eld, who once slew an entire host of fearsome Ani. But do not take my word for it, behold! In this hand, I hold Tenzin's beloved katana, the Phoenix Blade. Do you? I don't know what it looks like, but if he's got the Phoenix Blade, then he must be the one who he claims. Idiots. The true blade has remained in our care since Tenzin's passing. off. I see there are some who remain unconvinced. Very well. You leave me no choice. Allow me to introduce you to my sworn allies, the Four Lords. Oh dear, I'm af almost afraid to look. That's your signal. I expect my money's worth. Introducing Genbu, the turtle 
Hospice and Foreseer of Calamity. Uh, Saku, the Avian Hospice and Master of the Flames of Resurrection. Siru, the Dragon Hospice and Devourer of Young Maidens. And last but least, the, uh, not least adorable, we have Bakugo, the small foe. Oh my god, Bakugo's gonna be so fucking pissed. <laughs> Bakugo's gonna be so fucking pissed. Oh my god. Why am I alone, the cuddly creature? Surely he could have hired a Hrothgar or Makote to betray me. At least he did not slander your character, devour of young maidens, huh? I mean, it is true. People in FF14 dress extremely crazily. <laughs> What is this rabble? All who've heard the tale of Tenzin know that the four lords are beasts, not three mummers and a cat. These are glamoured forms they use so they may roam the realms of men undiscovered. Surely you can imagine the chaos that would ensue if they went about undisguised. So, there's no way they wear such ridiculous outfits. <laughs> and yet, here they are, dressed in far worse. <laughs> Thank you, Soraban. Thank you, Soraban, for uh, pointing out the obvious there. Yeah, the glamour, the glamour in this game can be various, various levels of, uh, various levels of crazy depending on, uh, what people have unlocked or what people have sought out and grinded for. These are all, like, past event stuff. The Valentine's Day event starts tomorrow, level 15. As long as you're level 15 and I think have access to the main cities, you can get it. Uh, I think it's, uh, it might be in Gridania this time around, actually. Yeah, there's a whole glam this time around and an eating chocolate emote you can unlock. So I really want all of that because, uh, oh, and the heart-shaped table. The heart-shaped table is kind of, I mean, I'll get it just to get it, but, like, I really want the eating chocolate emote and the glamour. The glamour's not gender-locked yet, but it looks like it is gonna be gender-locked, uh, I mean, the glamour is gender-locked currently, but it looks like it's gonna stop being gender-locked later on. Um, cause the, the past, uh, Valentine's Day events stop being gender-locked too. So it looks like it's gonna not be gender-locked later on. Um, but just for the event it's gender-locked or something? I don't know, it's weird. Um... <laughs> I mean, again, I would check the Eorzean Glamour page, uh, the Eorzean Glamour collection. I post my glamours there too, but, uh, there's varying levels of outfits in this game, and you can find, you can kind of find whatever you're looking for there. There's really good armor outfits, there's really, um, good, you know, campy outfits, there's a lot of different kinds. But yeah, I, I, uh, search Raza Thorn on Zalera with Crystal, and you'll find my Glamour page. You can see kind of everything I've done, um, Viera, Lollafell, Ara, Makote, etc. But, um, yeah, uh, so, I mean, it, there's a lot of varying things. <laughs> this farce is infuriating. I will not abide him making a mock of the bonds we shared with Tenzin. We are of one mind, sister. He must be silenced. Does Tenzin even have a descendant? There was nothing in the legends about him fathering any children. But there was mention of one who loved him more dearly than at life itself. I, but the woman who I owe my sorry lineage to and the, none other than the sublime, the crimson beauty standing before you, Suzaku. Oh my God, she's gonna be so pissed. 
She is going to be so fucking pissed. Let him speak. Perhaps he's not wholly just deserving of immolation. <laughs> she likes the fantasy of it. <laughs> bah, how easily your rage is quelled. Having proven my ancestry to your satisfaction, my lords and ladies, I bid you partake of my good fortune, for I have auspicious wares to share with you and yours today. Tens and put countless on to the sword long ago, tis true, but only by the grace of these miracles, good luck charms. Ah, here's a scam. Just one will confer unto you all manner of fortune. Such good health, a happy family, scholarly achievement, financial success, romantic fulfillment, and much more. What is it that we say? Cure alls. Cure nothing. Cure alls, cure nothing. If it claims it can do everything, it will do nothing. But that's not all! Purchase a charm now and I'll even throw in a stylish strap featuring the four lords design of your choosing. My stock is limited, so be sure to buy supplies while they last. I'll take two, no, ten. My blood boils to see Tenzin's good name used in this manner. As does mine, we cannot sit idly by and allow this to continue. I think our purveyor of good fortune is in need of a proper scare. Are you convinced as well, Rosa? Alright, let's uh, give him a good scare. 
Oh yeah, they added the, they added, I, I, I don't know where it is, but I know that they added the option if you have an umbrella now, you can take it out while, if you're, uh, while it's raining. I, um, I, and it, I didn't really fix that in my systems thing, but I know that it's, it's gonna, it's either going to be an added option, or it is an added option that you can, like, you have the option to, like, get your umbrella out now while it's raining. I, I didn't, I didn't put it in my systems tray, but I know it's, it's a thing now. <laughs> he seemed quite pleased with himself as he packed up his stall. Business was good, no doubt. How shall we proceed? With care and preparation, we saw how deftly he countered accusations of fraud. A more clever approach is needed. We must limit his, his ability to spin more lies. Have you any ideas, Raza? Ooh, am I gonna get to, uh, I can present myself as Tenza's true descendant. The presence of the four lords should be more than enough to convince him. Let's let's do that. Aho, oh, indeed, our very existence alone is enough to prove his claims false. Then it is settled. You shall play the role of Tenzin's true descendant, and we shall accompany you. With us at your side, the imposter will have no choice but to confess his crimes. And we might have a problem. <laughs> Still, we would be wise to prepare for such conti for, for contingencies. With me, Soroban, we, we will make for the Risen Temple. The Risen Temple. Then it is up to us to find and confront the Swindler. As you are familiar with the city, I bid you lead the way. Speak with Suzaku when you are ready. Ooh, are we gonna have like an escort quest? I wanna hear what the Four Lords think of Kugane. That'd be fun. Let's hear what the Four Lords think of Kugane. His customers may have seen where he went, so let us begin by questioning them. I would also know more of his true identity. Of all the heroes of legend, why claim Tenzin's name? The answer may help to us to stop him without resorting to violence, since some of you apparently lack the stomach for it. Uh, yep, they're following me, keeping them out of sight, etc., etc. Yay, we're gonna get to see what they think of the city. Um, <laughs> just a rabbit and a chicken. I don't know if they'll actually have any stopping points for us to talk. Oh my god, I do love this parasol. Superstitious woman. Kami be praised to have met Tenzin's descendants and get his good luck charm besides. What a fool I was to doubt him, he who commands the four lords of legend. As long as I have this fortune, shall surely shine upon me. Nope. Nope, cure all, cure nothing! Oh, has my good luck charm caught your eye? If you wanted one for yourself, you are sadly out of luck. The merchant selling them is was the last of his stock. He did not think he would be able to acquire more. Okay, but like, where can we find him? But if you wish to hear from him, he was headed towards Tagaso Bridge. You will know him by his attire. I swear, he was a spitting image of Tenzin from the storybooks. No, he wasn't. She speaks of you, of she speaks of yonder bridge, does she not? Others may have taken note of our quarry as he passed. Charlatan, you seen the charlatan around? Have I seen a man claiming to be Tenzin's descendants? Yes. 
The one who was selling good luck charms by the dozens, you mean? No, he didn't come this way. But call me, give me strength. I'll never understand how some can be so gullible. Let us continue our search elsewhere. Well, well, look who it is. Oh my god! It's Gaijo! <laughs> it's our Namazu friend who Lise uh, punted. It was great. It has been some time. What brings you to Kugane this day? A hawker claiming to be Tenzin's descendant. Probably issue. I saw him not long ago. Yes, yes. These are the Namazu! They are amazing! They squeak when they walk and they're shady little fuckers who die all the time. It's, it's amazing. The Namazu are amazing. They've got a whole tribe quest. It's absolutely amazing. You can get like their head, their head and their body as like costumes. It's great. Um, they're really annoying, but they're like the, the fun kind of annoying. You know him? My, my peculiar and suspicious friend, there is no merchant in Kigane who hasn't heard of the entrepreneur. He's made a fortune masquerading as Tenzin's heir. It's a, it's a brilliant scheme, very profitable. Tried to get in on it myself, but the Baron will suffer no competition. Yeah, uh, Gaido has many schemes. Who is this Baron of whom you speak? The soy sauce one. Who else? Kaga Kagamiya. A dangerous man. Yes, yes. With fingers in every pie. I fear him almost as much as I envy him. <laughs> yeah, I have a minion of a Namazu. They are amazing. They're one of my favorite tribe quests ever. They're very dumb. It it's great. Uh, their deception must be exposed, which can cause an issue. How many times do I have to teach the Baron the same lesson? <laughs> yeah, we've encountered this guy. Oh, you have had dealings with him, have you? Yep, multiple. <laughs> No, the Namazu are very much a meme in the FF14 community. If you know, then you know. Issue, on the other hand, is still something of an enigma. A skilled sea seamster dedicated to his craft, yet he partnered with Kagamaya. I never would have guessed he had it in him. Hmm, maybe this is the one that uh, walked out on Hancock and Tataru's deal. I'm gonna guess that it is. I knew something was up with that. There is more to this than meets the eye. We must investigate further. Have you any idea where Issue may have gone? You want information? Yes, yes. I want coin. Give me a give me coin, and I will give you information. I I don't trust anything that comes out of Gaido's mouth, honestly. Um, that can be arranged if you are willing to journey to the Resin Temple. Our friend Fury can escort you. Temple and what I've heard of. At that, wait, is it the sort of place where mortals fear to tread and malevolent spirits do dwell? <laughs> malevolent spirits? No. Just somewhat ominous crystal? I'll take your word for it. As for issue, he came to me and requested passage to the Isle of Beko, where he was to rendezvous with Kagamaya. I refuse. Better not to involve myself in the Baron's affairs, you understand. Uh, no, you did not refuse. You totally did it. Gaido, was it? You have our thanks. We shall fulfill our end of the bargain. You need not fear. Uh, you should be afraid of Gaido, Gaido double-crossing you. <laughs> There is no 
time to waste. I shall have a messenger instruct Bakugo and Sorabon to meet us at the aisle. when they join us. Aha! Fine day's work issue. It pays to have fools for customers. Please, this cannot continue. I shudder to think of how the four lords would react if they learned of our crimes. <sighs> Remind me, who was it that delivered you from a life of destitution after you lost your job as a seamster? Pray tell who. You, Master Kageyama, I am forever grateful for your help, without which I, my, my family would be without house and home. But even so, what are we- what we are doing is wrong! Want to wash your hands of this dirty business? Um, and be a seamster again, is that it? But once the truth comes out, and I would see that it does, who would- who would dare trust you? No issue, you're going to continue the act, or you and your kin are going to starve in the streets. Yeah, this guy's an asshole. So that's the way of it. Ishii was coerced by Kageyama into this performance, and for his family's sake could not stop. Indeed, in light of this, how shall we proceed? Uh, we help issue, we put the fear of Kami into Kagama. <laughs> we put the fear of- yeah, we've already beat him once. He hired Yojimbo to try to kill us, but uh... Oh, you mean the- the jellyfish? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that um, that 
That's from the uh, Cafe at the End of the Universe tribe quest, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy one. Yeah, it's like a, it's kind of like a jellyfish mount. Yeah. Who are you and why are you wearing such ridiculous outfits? Oh, we're gonna fight you. Hearken to me, mortal. I will suff uh, suffer you to sully Tenzin's name no longer. Defy me and you shall not like the consequences. <laughs> sully Tenzin's name, he says. Flesh and blood are free to do with it as they please. Unless you can prove the issue is not in fact his descendant, I suggest you get out of my sight. Prove it, then we shall! <laughs> Raza here! Oh my, am I, am I doing samurai for this one? It is time we revealed our true selves to these mortals! Sure, why not? Um, <laughs> uh, I, I inherited his legacy. Ah, uh, I see the lighting graphic updates they're doing. They're slowly making more graphic updates before the, the, the giant one. Please have mercy, I beg of you. I will never do this again. I know a friend who needs a seamster. You're in luck, issue. At Tenzin's behest, I once played the role of a ferocious tiger to frighten the people of a village and drive them to flee before they were buried in a landslide. He took part in the deception as well, but to be honest, your acting put his to shame. Have you considered auditioning at the Music Ocean Theater? <laughs> um, I, I've done the Hildebrand quest for this one. I think that was enough. Honor, lords and lady, and descendant of Tenzin, I know not how to make amends for my sins. Though my actions speak louder than words, I wish to say that I am truly sorry. Uh, I know a friend who needs a seamster, so you're in luck. Man or beast, we all make mistakes. I am told you are mast a master seamster. I might not go far as to say master, but with my skill I managed to put food on the table. Then perhaps I shall have a word with an old friend. 
<laughs> yeah, you're gonna go work for Tataru. That can wait, Sorban. We must escort this young man to a safer location. This is far enough. It is past time we returned home. We are once more in your debt. It is because of you that this affair could be concluded before Tenzin's reputation suffered imperable harm. Thank you, Raza. Now that you are no longer bad to Kagamaya, what will you do? Well, I know I must take responsibility for my actions. I will confess my crimes before the Sekizumi. After I am released from my imprisonment, I shall take up an honest trade once more, and not rest till I have repaid each and every victim of my deception. Yes, I've been meaning to tell you, but I will let Hancock explain when he arrives shortly. Yeah, you're gonna go work for them. Dreadfully sorry to have kept you all waiting. Ah, speak of the devil. Apt, apt, apt a saying for Hancock there. The urchin girl came as well. It has been far too long. Do not call her an urchin girl. She will kill you again. Last time I think she smacked you. You are looking green as ever, Soraban of the Blue. And once again, Genbu, that's a Taru to Tara. And though I'm sure I have to remind you next time, too. The Seabster Sorban spoke of, yes? It is a gainful employment, you seek. The East Alderman Training Company would be thrilled to hire one of your expertise to work at the Draper Shop. The Seabster in our service fell ill, and we've been looking for replacements. I have no words. I'm grateful, truly. But I cannot accept. For once I confess my crimes to the Sekizumi, they will surely imprison me for a time. Ah oh, yes, the Sekizumi. I had a chat with them not long ago. They are aware that the scheme was contrived by Kagamaya, and for and that you are one of his victims. You will be required to assist them in their investigation, of course, but you need to steal yourself for the brief incarceration. Hancock, you have our thanks for calling on Raza to our aid. No, not at all. I am pleased to have been of service. You're now in my debt. I will definitely be asking for that repayment. <laughs> it does seem like a Hancock thing to do. I have not forgotten our arrangement, Raza. Have you decided upon a reward? Now that warms my heart. Material to help restore the keepsake of a dear friend. Yes, I want that glam. 
I have just the thing. I won't spoil the surprise now, but I do look forward to it. I suppose we had better return to the city, but before that... You could have called upon me too, you know. It's not like I wasn't part of the whole saving the Ruby Sea from becoming consumed by Roaring Flames endeavor or anything. Oh, forgive us, urchin girl. Ahem. Tataru, we assumed you were busy, and that you did struggle mightily to help Raza restrain Soraban that one time. So there was some concern that you might prove a liability should it come to blows. Nevertheless, we shall take your words to heart. Perhaps it, we should assume our guises and walk among men more often. It was refreshing change of pace on the whole. Uh, sure. I'm guessing we're gonna see them idling around in Kugani. Like, like we see uh, Sir Emrek in the blue elephant costume and uh, the uh, Ishgardian kind of restoration zone and housing district. It would not be against us. We were in a bit of a rush on this occasion. But with a longer visit, we might better appreciate men's curious ways. I have no doubt that we shall meet again, but pray when that time, that time comes sooner than later. You and me both. Mm, until that day, I'll be sure to stop by the temple later. Uh, until that day. Let's, let's make it cinematic. This is a cinematic moment. Let's make it a cinematic line. I will consider that a promise. Sorban's training upon our return to the temple. <laughs> um, what's we took so soon? You did well to appraise Hancock of Issue's predicament. He may now make his amends by putting his talents to good use and continue to provide for his family. Indeed, twas behavior befitting one destined to become the next Gendu. The road ahead is long, but we know we but we doubt not that you are worthy, and so we want only to encourage you to reach your full potential. If that is how you feel, then I have little choice but to do my best. <laughs> 